A very good morning to all of you in yet another sunny morning. This is the second lecture on uh, palynologic series of lectures. Today I will talk about polarity and uh, symmetry of spores. Polarity is about the, the poles that uh, each of these pores or pollen grains which we are talking about, they have polarity. There are two poles, proximal pole and distal pole. These poles are decided on the basis of their uh, arrangement during tetrad stage. In the tetrad, here you can see in the tetrahedral tetrad, all the four spores are attached at a certain point in the middle. That attachment area is the proximal pole for each of these spores. So if that is the proximal pole, the pole exactly away from that, opposite to that, will be the distal pole. And the line, the imaginary line, that passes across these poles through the center of the spore or pollen grain will be called the polar axis. So if the poles are there, there will be equator also. So when you are viewing, when you are viewing the polar axis longitudinally, the axis that is cutting at perpendicular in the middle of this pole is the equatorial axis. There will be a circumference of the equatorial zone. That you can view in the polar, when you are viewing a, a spore in polar view, either distal polar view or proximal polar view. Then what you are seeing is the outline of the equator. That outline is called the amp of a spore. The polar distance is the distance between the proximal pole and the center of this pole. So these are the terminologies uh, about polarity. So by this, you can distinguish uh, the spores could be heteropolar or they could be isopolar. Under the microscope, you cannot distinguish which pole is proximal, which pole is distal. So the spore might be completely spherical or it may be elongated, but there will only be one, only one horizontal plane of division through which if you cut the spore, you will get equal halves and that are the mirror images of each other. Heteropolar spores will have zero horizontal plane of division because the poles are different. When you, you cut in the middle, you get unequal halves. So the horizontal plane is, there is no horizontal plane of division. That is uh, the heteropolar spore is about. So now talking about the symmetry. Symmetry in all cases in biological system, we know that there are two types of symmetries, radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry. Spores will also have radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry. In case of radial spores, uh, the vertical plane of division, that is when you are cutting uh, through the longitudinal axis, through the polar axis, uh, if the vertical plane of divisions are three to infinity, more than two to infinity, then the spore is of radial type. A triangular spore with a triangular amp is also a radial spore. More than two vertical plane means three to infinity. Infinity vertical plane of divisions, if they are there, then the spore is completely spherical. Okay, so there are different types of amps. You get uh, polygonal, you get raised spores. So. All these will have, if they are radially symmetrical, they have uh, more than three uh, vertical planes of divisions. So a radial uh, symmetrical spore will have, will, it might be isopolar or heteropolar. So if it is isopolar, it will have one horizontal plane of division. If it is heteropolar, there will be zero horizontal plane of division. Now talking about bilaterally symmetrical spores, they will have only two planes of vertical planes of division. You can produce uh, equal halves by cutting across the polar axis only on two planes in case of bilaterally symmetrical spores. Because they are, they are flattened like this, if you if imagine, they are flattened like this. They are not round. Through the amp, the amp is flattened like this. It is oval, you can say. So one of the sections could be this, in the middle of this, you can cut this section like this, producing two equal halves, or another section could be like this, producing two equal halves on that, both sides. 
there could be no other option to produce uh, to go through the vertical plane uh, which will produce equal halves and mirror images of each other so bilaterally symmetrical spores could also be uh, isopolar and heteropolar depending on their poles whether that that are, those are so now uh, this is the picture of uh, mm, the radially symmetrical and bilaterally symmetrical spores by this diagram you can you can say there are two original pictures taken from the microscope i have sticked them here for one for radial and this is the polar view of this the left panel for radially symmetrical spore. This is the polar view of that microscopic uh, microphotograph you are seeing. There are three colpi, so you are seeing it uh, through the polar polar view. You can see it is almost rounded, or it, it is triangular a little bit. So you can go through vertical axis. There are three vertical axes for this particular spore. So this is a radially symmetrical spore. Now it has to be seen whether the poles, uh, the distal and the proximal pole, through the equatorial view, are similar or dissimilar. If they are similar, they are isopolar. If they are dissimilar, they will be heteropolar. In the right panel, you are seeing the bilaterally symmetrical spore. And this is uh, also a polar view. This is possibly the sulcus type of uh, aperture that you are seeing there is an aperture. The sulcus aperture is present or it may be a uh, monolith it may be a lit mark also i don't know here uh, lit mark is also polar it is present on the proximal polar furrow like apertures and uh, a single furrow like aperture and sulcus is also a single furrow like aperture uh, monosulcate in case of monosulcate that is present in, uh, on the distal polar distal pole so whatever be the case it is a polar view whether it is a monolith or monosulcate. In the polar view, you can see if you go through this, this is the, the vertical plane of division for this. If you are going like this, you will produce one equal half mirror images of each other. You can go like this, producing another. So that has been shown by the hand-drawn diagram here that you can have only two vertical planes of divisions. And as far as the polarity, the isopolar and heteropolar condition is concerned, you have uh, two situations here also. Either it will be isopolar, bilaterally symmetrical, isopolar, bilaterally symmetrical, heteropolar. So these are the symmetries of spores or pollen grains, whatever you talk about. So for today's lecture, uh, I will end here. Hope you are liking these uh, lectures and continue watching this and share this also for other guys other students to see and don't forget to press the like button and and of course if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead press the bell icon also for notifications thank you very much